So we left off with everything working with our form, but with our request, we're still using post when we want to actually be using delete. And the reason we're doing that is because HTML forms really only support post out of the HTTP methods that we're looking to use. And that's where HTTP method spoofing comes into play and the .js supports it. So it essentially allows us to spoof the underlying HTTP method that we want to use with our HTML form essentially allowing us to tell Adonis that although we're submitting a post request with our form, we actually want to use a put patch or delete HTTP method to match against this particular route's usage. So for this, we'd be able to switch our router for our flush back to a delete method. So we can give that a save. And by default, Adonis.js starts with this off. But if we dive into our app configuration and we scroll down a little bit, we should see underneath the HTTP config, a property called allow method spoofing. By default, as I said, this is set to false, but we can switch this to true. And now we can use it within our application. So to use it, we dive back into our homepage where our form is and where we're generating out our route. What we want to do is add on an additional query string with an underscore method key setting the particular HTTP method that we want to use. At the end of the day, that would look something like slash Redis slash flush question mark to enter in our query string underscore method equals and then the delete HTTP method that we want to use. With Adonis.js's route function, the second argument is going to be for route parameters as we're using within our navigation and whenever we're using our movie show page. But the third argument is where we can set configuration options, including query string information. And we can provide that in as an object where the key is underscore method and the value is then delete just like so. So if we give this a save, jump back into our browser, let's open up our inspect for our network panel real quick. So network panel right there. Let's make sure that we have persist logs still on and it is. Let's hit our flush Redis DB button. Okay, we saw everything go out. Let's scroll back up to our flush call. And you can see a query string with underscore method equals delete is now being sent out with our requests URL. Everything else behaved the exact same as before. We can dive back into our terminal to ensure that everything worked correctly. And sure enough, we reached our flushing Redis DB console log, ensuring that we actually entered the route handler for our Redis flush route handler. So with this HTTP method spoofing, we can now make full use of the HTTP verbs. By default, forms will be post already, but we can additionally add in now put, patch, and delete verbs on our base HTML forms. Note that you still want the underlying method attribute on the form itself to be post, because that will allow the HTML form to send up to our server as usual. But now Adonis will use the underscore method whenever matching against routes to discern its intended HTTP verb to match against our route definition. 